As the Department of Education, we are pleased to offer digital resources and supports. And today, this video is going to highlight one of those supports that teachers can use to communicate with families about um, the standards. It's called the Standards Family Guides and ways to help support parents and families as they're working with their children at home. Inside the Standards Family Guides, they're there to help families be better familiar with the content of each grade level for reading and writing, math, social studies, and science. Inside those guides, you'll find an overview, an example of, of the child's work at school, what they ex could expect to see, how to help the child at home, questions parents can ask the child, but also questions that they can ask the child's teacher. And today, I think we're really going to highlight those um, two bullets on how to help your child at home and questions you can ask your child as we are partnering with our parents in a very unique way that we haven't before and trying to help them see what are simple ways that they can support their students learning at home aligned to the standards, but in a way that is kind of stress free. So we're going to take a look at four, those four content areas, and we've decided just to focus on grade four as an example. You can find all of the grades from kindergarten through high school, but looking at just grade four, let's take a look at mathematics. So this is what it would look like if you were to click on it. You'll have all those pieces we described. And then to get a little bit more specific, Let's take a look at some of the pieces in how to help your child at home. So you'll notice there are only under those examples, there are only four bullets, but they give you an idea. They give parents an idea of ways that they might approach um, how to help their child at home. For instance, compare numbers using times as much. So they could do a question like if the family cat weighs eight pounds and the family dog weighs 56 pounds, how many times as much does the dog weigh? So it's kind of a, a fun question, but also something they can make really specific to their own home where the kids are practicing things that they'll need to be successful at that grade level in mathematics. And also questions that you could ask your child, like if you were working on a recipe, we need a half a cup of milk. So how many times do you fill up one quarter of a cup, measuring cup, to make that half a cup? So instead of just telling a child, being able to ask questions so they work through some of that math. Now let's take a look at reading and writing and here's some examples there, ways that you may help your child. So some of it's going to be about reading, like selecting a poem that you can read repeatedly for accuracy and expression, but it also could be more about writing. So it could be um, things that we could talk out loud or also put on paper and you'll see some examples there, but also questions that you could ask your child. I like the last bullet under how to help your child at home express an opinion about a subject or issue, and then helping them provide reasons to support that opinion, where they're looking at reliable sources, where they're beginning to really think about how to discern what is reliable, what might be sort of fake news, and to really work through um, how to support what you believe. So this would be a great time to, to work on that internet safety and to practice those things together. And then when we look at science, um, you can see these are things that parents can do outside with their kids in their own yard or in their own neighborhood. And so it's just maybe something as simple as having them collect items like rocks, plants, or seeds, and then encouraging the child to come up with what are questions you might have about those items. And then as a family, let's figure out how could we get those answers, whether it's an investigation, reading about them. And even when you look at the second, so many of the different family guides are gonna have have suggestions of like take a nature walk or go to a museum and the great thing about technology is even as we're practicing social distancing we can still do those things virtually at home so many different museums many different state national parks they have um, things online that you can go and visit as well and then even looking at that last one of and um, looking at the driveway and what's the impact that water has had on our driveway over time. So again, it's just connecting the content of the area with just everyday things in the home. 
And same thing we're going to see with social studies. So here, this is again from the fourth grade sample. Um, it's really about getting the kids to come up with questions that they can ask. And then rather than parents giving the answers, it's having parents suggest where could the kid maybe find that answer. And then if you look at like that second one, looking at technology and the impact that it's had and how it's advanced over time. And you know, that's so applicable right now in terms of potentially looking at how are we still be able to be connected to friends and families, um, even in this time of social distancing and what has technology done to support that, as well as underneath questions you can ask your child, you know, again, taking current events and connecting it to the content that they might experience in the classroom. So parents could work with them on the idea of supply and demand. And what does that look like right now in our current situation? So all of the suggestions are not asking the parents to be the content expert, but really exploring with students around the big ideas that kind of frame the standards for that particular content area at that specific grade level. So to access our standard family guides, you would go to KY standards, click on your standard resources, and then you can see the yellow arrow is pointing to the standards family guides. It's the icon with the house on it. When you click on that, all of the standard family guides would come up. And like we said earlier, we have those available for each grade level K through eight, as well as a high school. And then they are available in both Spanish and in English. So if you have any questions, as always, please send those questions to standards at ky.gov. We thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this video as we highlighted what we feel like can be an impactful tool as we work closer with our parents in the weeks to come. And again, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions.